A new documentary is exploring the idea of America slowly becoming a police state. We're going to talk about that, but first, hi, my name is Jacob Airy. Welcome to the Studio Jake Vidcast, where I talk about all things pop culture, from film, television, anime, documentaries, and so much more. Be sure to like this video, leave me a comment, share it out to your friends, and of course subscribe to help me reach 1,000 subs. Once I get there, I'm going to do an Ask Me Anything YouTube live stream where I'll be taking questions from the YouTube chat. All right, diving right into it. So um, I make no secret that I'm a big fan of Dinesh D'Souza. I enjoy his documentaries and his books very much. I actually got to meet him very briefly um, when he came in to film a PragerU video. I was Now, I'm not a part of PragerU. I was at the studio where they were filming the video. So I got to meet him. He was very nice, very cordial. His wife, Debbie, she was also very nice, very cordial. And I got to tell him how much I appreciate his books and his documentaries. He was very appreciative and it was a very pleasant encounter. And I will be honest, sometimes I think his documentaries are misnamed. <laughs> For instance, Hillary's America should have really been called Democrats America because Hillary doesn't really come in till the third act of the documentary. He ties it together well, but I just think it was mistitled. That being said, my current favorite of his documentaries is America Imagine the World Without Her, which I believe you can watch for free on the Tubi streaming service. It's a pretty good documentary. It, talk, it debunks a lot of, you know, sort of historical revisionism, uh, some really dumb narratives that a lot of professors who just want to create a victim narrative, uh, you know, how they change history and stuff. And he debunks a lot of those with uh, America Imagine the World Without Her. Well, now he has a new documentary coming out called Police State, and it examines circumstances where people who were raided by law enforcement, you know, because of a certain political belief that they had, or maybe they went to the wrong rally and they were uh, broken, they were broken, they were beaten, they were battered, they were thrown in jail with, with no lawyers being contacted. Very terrifying stuff. And De Souza breaks it down. And I saw both the teaser and the trailer for this. It is really intense. I would show you a clip, but YouTube loves to copyright slap you know, all of us uh, small YouTubers, even if we're doing something for, you know, for purposes of education and information. I know probably if I contacted Dinesh D'Souza's people, they would be okay with me showing a clip, but for now I'll just put up the, uh, the film's poster. And I've got to say, it looks pretty compelling. And I'm going to read you from the official website, policestatefilm.net, where you can also get tickets to go see it in theaters. There is nowhere to hide. They have their list. Are you next? The Souza Media LLC presents a film produced by Dinesh De Souza, Debbie De Souza, and Bruce Shuley in collaboration with Dan Bongino. Research by Julie Kelly and Peter Schweitzer, featuring Nick Searcy, music by Brian E. Miller, and it goes on. And they end with this. Um, they end with this quote from Alexander Schultz. Heinesen, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, his really famous anti-communist book, The Gulag Archipelago. He says, in our lives, we go by many high walls and tall fences, never thinking of what lies beyond them. But that is where the Gulag country begins. And it's, it is true. I, ha I actually know someone that the FBI raided for actually exposing a corrupt organization, but instead of going after the corrupt organization, at first it was the California AG, they went after him, a, a, a man named David Delayden, who his case went all the way up to the Supreme Court. Unfortunately, the Supreme Court didn't hear it, but he exposed the corruption within Planned Parenthood. They even got Planned Parenthood to admit that the people that he exposed were saying accurate things and still he is the one who faced all kinds of retribution from like i said at first the california ag and then later biden's doj absolute absolute travesty of justice and i can definitely see where it's going now 
you might be saying, Jacob, you don't really ever talk about documentaries on your vidcast. That's true, I don't. But I really think that, for one thing, I think Dinesh D'Souza is a good filmmaker in regards to documentaries. He has kind of hinted that eventually he'll expand into other methods, perhaps even doing like a full-on film. Perhaps we'll see that one day. But for now, I'm looking forward to this documentary. I do plan on seeing it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to see it in theaters just because I'm uh, about to go through a um, important life change, But uh, and more on that later. But for now, I do plan on seeing it. I do plan on reviewing it, and I will be honest. I am not connected with um, Dinesh D'Souza's film company at all. I'm not connected with... Uh, him outside that one meeting that I had with him, but I do plan on seeing it, especially, I really like Nick Searcy. He's a brilliant actor. He's been on television, on Justified. He's been in all kinds of amazing films, many who, that have won Academy Awards. He himself as an actor has won awards. I saw him in Terror on the Prairie, which is, uh, you know, where he played sort of the antagonist of that. He did a fantastic job. So, not to mention he directed God's Nell and starred in it. He did a great job in that regard as well. So I think that they have him for doing reenactments of FBI, you know, raiding these innocent civilians who just happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time and became enemies of the state. That is a scary thing, and it's something that needs to be talked about more, especially in the realm of pop culture. And documentaries, whether some of you like it or not, are a part of pop culture. So let me know. Are you going to go see it? I certainly plan on watching it, and like I said, I will give a fair and accurate review. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up, that you'll leave me a comment, tell me what you think, that you'll share it out with your friends, and of course, consider subscribing to Studio Jake. I cover all kinds of nerd and pop culture topics, including film, television, anime, comic books, and so much more. I hope that you'll also head over to my main website, studiojakemedia.com, where I have even more news, views, and commentary. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, head over to my Locals page. That's studiojakemedia.locals.com. It's the best way to support me. I'm trying to build a little community there. I have exclusive reviews and articles, so definitely head over there and check it out. And I'll see you next time right here on Studio Jake.